so now firebug has been added so let's let's just write small code and see okay how uh, firebug is used to see our markup change the styles and see the javascript coding okay let's go so again uh, from today not today i'll be just using a different uh, what do you call editor today so just uh, just an experimental basis just to see how well it looks like but i don't find any difference between that and this but yeah this editor is sublime text again this is a free one sublime text is a free one okay i i mostly use sublime text for uh, you know for projects instead of single files if there is a single file i'll go with that because i don't i don't feel like you know really using sublime uh, sublime text for you know small files but yeah when when i deal with projects like if there are multiple files in the project then i'll definitely go ahead and use sublime text previously i've been using netbeans ide for php so this is again free so netbeans ide for php again used to write php code again whenever i'm i was dealing with you know big projects where in multiple files then i'll go with the netbeans ide also or in in regular i use notepad plus plus <coughs> so notepad oops notepad plus plus is my real buddy like you know i really like using notepad plus plus but yeah today let's go ahead and see uh, the sublime text so sublime text as as usual go to google <coughs> google and uh, type sublime text what are the latest version see here this is beta so never go with beta beta is just for testing purposes then you can say so click on downloads it gets downloaded you install then you're ready so that's uh, sublime text <coughs> okay it has all the features as notepad plus plus and it it has a uh, it gives you uh, the option to add a whole project like you can i'll i'll just show how to add a whole project it's pretty simple over here you guys got any questions here anything anything to say so i'll go to my desktop i'll take this tuto slide and i'm taking the whole folder and dropping here okay i drop the whole folder over there and just i see uh, it asks all the files in that folder so this is where i i say i said previously like you know whenever i'm dealing with big files there are multiple files now i got to do is like double click and gets appeared here and if i open a new file then you know it it gets opened here and i can add files here too like you know i i just say you know new file then i save it it saves to the project so that you know i don't have to again you know go uh, browse to the folder and save it or there i can directly uh, do this i can rename a file here i can do loads of things there are so many things here you see project here and you can you can add there are so many plugins for so it's it's kind of advanced editor okay so it's it's pretty cool i, I really uh, like this too but yeah notepad plus plus I, as i told you before it's cool it's for quick editing like if you want to edit something really quick yeah notepad plus plus is okay fine we don't have to go for a sublime editor but yeah sublime text is a good option too okay any any questions and anything no questions i'll go forward there are questions great fine <clears throat> so yeah let's go ahead i open a new file control n okay i suppose yeah control n is a new thing so let's just start so doc type html and uh, there are so many things uh, okay in sublime text if i want to comment uh, previously we used to manually comment lines right but in sublime in sublime uh, text i'll show i'll show you guys in a while how to you know simply uh, like in a, in a single this has the this sublime text has so many shortcuts so you know i don't have to do all things it it just does it does by itself <clears throat> so here title here pseudo slide firebug example example 
then inside the body let's say uh, I'll give some div I give a div a class class equal to container let's say okay or uh, okay let's let's go ahead and use bootstrap okay so how do I link uh, link href equal to my bootstrap is in styles uh, bootstrap dot CSS I guess so I can just see it here bootstrap dot min dot CSS min dot CSS then rel equal to style sheet see I don't even have to type uh, if I if I just type one code it it gets automatically the other code like it it closes by itself the codes okay you see there are so many advanced you know uh, characteristics in here like you know the features are really advanced here sublime text so rel equal to style sheet I close it here okay and I say container here then here uh, what we do is like uh, I'll say well div uh, here I'll take some <coughs> dummy text so always dummy text is lorem some Copy it here, I'll paste it here. <clears throat> then again, this thing. I'll write one more div class equal to well. I'll save this. Let's save this as uh, firebug.html. Okay, now you see, I mean, as soon as I save it, no, uh, it has nice formatting over there. You see, the tags are in red, the codes are in yellow, and the keywords or the attributes are in green color. You can see here. Okay, now if I want to comment this, I can just select this and control forward slash. See, it comments. This is this is a very good feature of you know sublime text. Like if I want to comment something, it, you know, I got, all I gotta say is like control forward slash. So it has loads of uh, shortcuts out there I mean I, I don't know uh, where they are like you can search on Google for shortcuts but yeah this is really cool actually okay now let's go back here here 